Hello, sorry I had to move the camera there quickly. Um, get some of the technology sorted out here, maybe. And then I'll start on, there we go. All right, so as I promised, for this video, I'm going to be showing you how I did the watercoloring here. Sorry, I just have to close the door. My dog is going crazy. So this watercoloring, some of you may recognize, um, is actually Brusho, which is really neat. Um, it's a watercolor powder. So that's what I'm going to be using. I can mute myself here. There we go. All right. So I'll bring all this stuff back and I'll show you how we're going to do this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have some watercolor paper. This works really does work best with watercolor paper. So I've got a piece here. <laughs> My dog is not going to not going to calm down. 7 month old border collies. Okay. So, um, we're going to take the embossing buddy and we're just going to wipe this all over this isn't as important with watercolor paper um, but you definitely want to do this if you're using regular cardstock to emboss and it just gets rid of the static and will um, stop there from being all kinds of little mucky bits all over your piece then I've got my Versamark ink here uh, one thing that came up the other day I was talking to somebody Versamark ink you clean just like regular ink you don't need to use a special cleaner for it and then I've got my little hummingbird. And if you saw the picture I posted a few days ago, you know just how many hummingbirds we have. I think I counted eight at one feeder at one point. That's what kind of inspired this card. And then I've got my copper embossing powder. Now I keep them in these little Tupperware containers from the dollar store. Um, so I guess they're not technically Tupperware, but these reusable containers from the, from the dollar store. And that works really well for smaller pieces. I can actually just dip them right into the container. Um, but for these bigger pieces, I'll still. And I just try to keep as much of the powder in as I can. Now, usually I do put the piece of scrap paper underneath, and I totally forgot today. All right, flicking all the extra stuff off. That stuff is just going to go onto the floor for Roomba to get. And then we're going to actually heat this. So I'm using just a Stampin', Stampin' Up um, heat tool. And it is quite loud. Not as loud as some other ones I've used, but you'll probably hear it in the video. And then we're just going to heat this until the embossing powder melts. And I'll see if I can bring it up so that you can see it better. You can go from the front or the back. I usually go from the front. And then, slowly but surely, you'll see that that embossing powder starts to melt. There you go. See, it's kind of along the head there, and the body, and then out the wing. There we go. I like to sometimes do it from the back as well, just because it'll straighten out the cardstock if it warps with the heat. And that is that done. Okay, so now we've got this embossed and see how it's kind of warped a little bit. And that's okay for this one. Um, we are going to bring in the brush show. So brush show right now comes in five different colors. We've got Prussian blue, brilliant red, gamboge, moss green, and I can't remember what this one is. Yellow, there we go. Um, so I want to use the Brilliant Red and the Moss Green and maybe a bit of the yellow. My covers aren't sticking on very well anymore, but you can see I just poked a few holes in the covers so that it basically turns this into a shaker. So I'm going to shake some of the red onto kind of the head part of my hummingbird. There we go. It doesn't have to cover the whole thing. You just kind of have to get some powder on here. And this will go everywhere and will 
be an absolute nightmare to deal with if you get too much. So just a little bit is usually enough and you can kind of mix those colors. Then I've got a spritzer. Hi, mom. Um, spritzer just full of water and I'm gonna spritz this onto my watercolor paper and you can see how it starts to wet those watercolor powder crystals, whatever you wanna call them. There we go, all right. So now this has to dry. I'm the least patient person in the world. I can't sit here and literally watch paint dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my heat tool again. And I'm gonna heat this and that'll help dry. It will kind of smush the color around, which is totally okay. This greatly speeds up this whole process. I actually like how this one turned out better than the one I actually used on the card. I think I was a little too impatient on the one on the card. Okay. There we go. I don't really care about my grid paper back here, and I don't really care about this background. So now we've got this done. Now I can either cut it first or do uh, my Wink of Stella. I'm gonna do the Wink of Stella first because I love, love, love this look. So what this does is it just adds a little bit of shimmer and it will also kind of add to that watercolor effect as well. So it will actually smoosh the color around even more. So I'm just gonna kind of cover the whole thing with some of this Wink of Stella. I am squeezing a bit, so I run the risk of it kind of splorting all over. I know, very technical term, splorting. Luckily that hasn't happened, so I'm just going to kind of keep adding some layers of color smushing it around and adding a bit more shimmer. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but you can see there how it's got that color there. That was the sport I was looking for in the, of the shimmer. I wanted a little bit more. There we go. Ah. Okay, and I don't really care that I got stuff all over the edges because I'm actually going to cut this out. Okay, so can you see that shimmer that's on there now? Super pretty. So, if you're not like me, you can actually use the dies to cut this image out. I apparently forgot to order the dies, so I have to cut this out by hand. With the embossing, though, it's super easy to just follow now on the card I made, I only cut out one part of it and then I tore the edge, but this one I'm gonna cut all the way around. And whenever you're fussy cutting, it's easier to just hold the scissors steady and move your cardstock through the scissors rather than trying to like cut around things. It's easier to manipulate the cardstock and kind of turn it as you go. Especially for these little bumpies along here. So I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do with this hummingbird yet. I almost called it a butterfly. I have not had enough coffee yet today, clearly. So you'll have to stay tuned and I will post it at some point what I make with this. Because it is really very pretty. I could make the same card again, but that would be boring.
I've been making swaps for on stage, so I've been making like, yes, mom, you need to post at some point that photo of me where I'm like two and I'm at the table and I'm cutting out pieces of paper. I can't remember if it's your sewing scissors, but I think it's a, or is it a pair of Crayola scissors? I can't remember. But yes, I've always been into like cutting little bits and pieces out. I used to love like paper dolls and stuff. Not because I wanted to play with the paper dolls. I actually didn't like dressing, dressing them up and stuff. I just wanted to cut all the pieces out. It was a very sad day when paper dolls started being pre-cut. I used to make my own too. Okay, we are getting there. That was the hard part. Alrighty, there is my Brusho Hummingbird. I really do like this one a lot more than the first one there from the card. Okay, so if you need any of these supplies, you can go to thecraftymedic.com. I'm going to put up the QR code again. Um, that's the QR code there, so thecraftymedic.com, and just follow the shop now link will take you to the shop, and you can get Brusho scissors or whatever you need, or you can point your uh, smartphone camera at the QR code there. When you do place an order, um, you can use the host code here. What I do is I just combine from the month all of the, um, all of the orders that use the host code. I do a workshop out of it, and then everybody who ordered gets a little bit of extra goodies. Um, so don't forget to use the host code there. It's always on uh, my blog as well, just on the right hand side. You can check that out. Hope you learned something here. Hope you love this technique. And I will show you what I do with my little hummingbird um, in a later post. Have a wonderful day. Happy stamping. I hope it's as sunny where you are as it is here. Happy stamping. <laughs>